A big decision late today on the fate of Chicago's urban prep high academies. The high schools often boasting their near 100% graduation rates and college acceptances. But just a short time ago, Chicago school board members voted to revoke urban prep's charter after what they call years of serious problems. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov is live outside CPS headquarters in the loop where that school board meeting just wrapped up. Dana? Just wrapped up, Jim and Maria, a short time ago, minutes ago. Now, school board and Chicago public school leaders say this move was solely because of problems with Urban Prep Academy's management, not problems with its model or its mission. And it didn't happen without a fight. CPS cannot provide what Urban Prep does and never will be able to. Urban Prep Junior Elijah Cooper is one of at least a half a dozen people who spoke out in support of the all-black male charter high school, urging the Chicago School Board not to take over two of its three academies. We make the impossible possible for students that look like me. Urban Prep Academies needs to be renewed simply because they make young black males feel accepted. Earlier this month, Chicago Public School executives sent Urban Prep leaders a letter stating they wanted to revoke its charter. The recommendation I bring to you today, it is not based on campus level performance. Instead, it is based on serious and unacceptable operational issues at the urban prep leadership. Problems which CPS leaders say include financial mismanagement, no special education services, and a low number of certified teachers. Urban prep leaders argue they've worked to fix those issues. Urban Prep has adhered to every mandate and requirement legally set by CPS. Substantiated sexual misconduct allegations involving Urban Prep's founder Tim King and a 16-year-old also cast a dark cloud over the school. CPS leaders have voiced concerns that Urban Prep never totally severed ties with King. Yes, we failed them, but we can't fail them today because these young men are asking me to be their voice and tell you to tell us Please let us continue to be mentors. School board member Elizabeth Todd Breland, though, said this is also about protecting children. Now, moving forward, CPS leaders say they will make offers of employment to qualified urban prep teachers and staff members. They say that two of the three campuses, the ones that they are now overseeing, will remain open, but there's still a lot of details to work out. I'm live in the loop. Dana Koswell, CBS 2 News. Dana, thank you.